Graphing a rational function. In order to graph a rational function, we will need to put together all of the information for this section so far. Given the function g of x equals x minus 1 times x minus 6 over x minus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 3, we should write down all of the features we can see from the equation before trying to make a graph. It looks like I could remove a discontinuity right off the bat and simplify down to x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 times x plus 3. I should note that this means there is a hole in the graph at x equals 6. I will also have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2, with switching asymptotic behavior, as well as x equals negative 3. The polynomials involved in this rational function are fully factored, but considering the degree and leading coefficient of each factor, the leading terms would be x and x squared, simplifying down to 1 over x. So the end behavior of the graph resembles 1 over x, and there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. We should also note that the y-intercept is at 0, 1 sixth, and the x-intercept at 1, 0. In graphing all of this, I'll put the intercepts in their place as points, and the asymptotes as dashed lines that are labeled appropriately. Now, I start from the left below the x-axis, since this mimics the reciprocal function appropriately, then at the asymptote, switch behavior, cross at the x-intercept, switch behavior at the next asymptote, ending the graph above the horizontal asymptote with a nice open hole where x is 6. This has been an example of graphing a rational function with all intercepts, holes, and both horizontal and vertical asymptotes.